All right, y'all. So, first and foremost, I really hope y'all can hear me in this video. I really hope I'm speaking loud enough. I am at the gym right now. I'm the only one here. I'm closing up. It's actually, uh, I closed up already. So I'm just putting in some overtime. <clears throat> so given that information, man, I hope you guys bear with me through this, um, this content. Now, I don't have my camera. I'm gonna be breathing heavy. I'm uh, gonna be speaking to the best of my ability, being as loud as I possibly can for you guys to hear me and retain some inf information. Now, this video, like I said, doesn't have the best content. You know, it doesn't have the best lighting. It doesn't have the best, um, it's not the best setting, but I'm talking to you. Whoever is watching this video, I'm speaking to you specifically. I'm speaking right to you, like we're uh, like we're on a phone call, man. I'm I'm looking right at you. I'm talking to you um, as an individual, from one soul to another. So I hope y'all appreciate that, and I hope y'all bear with me through this um, lighting and through me doing these stairs. Now, with that being said, man. You guys already know what it is. I'm Tyrone. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for keeping up with the content if you've been doing so. If you're new here, uh, welcome to the channel, man. I'm all about helping people become the best versions of themselves through my voice. I really would like to think that my voice holds weight and the words that I say people feel. And not only would I like to feel like that, but making these YouTube videos, I'm really starting to believe that because people are telling me that I'm changing their lives and I'm giving them someone to relate to and I'm giving them someone to um, not necessarily speak to, but someone to, um, someone to, like I said, relate to and someone to listen to and feel what it is that they have to say. A lot of people speak a lot. You know, they talk a lot, but they're not really talking about shit. They're really not using their words to make a difference. They're not really trying to make a difference in this world. And I recognize that me personally, I can't change the world. But, you know, what's that? Uh, I forgot who said it. Was it Tupac? I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But he said, I might not change the world, but I can spark the mind that does. Something along those lines. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I ain't trying to change the world. A lot of people are already set in their ways. I'm not for everybody, and I recognize that, and I'm okay with that. But for you who are watching this video, you that took the time out of your day to come here and listen to me speak, I appreciate you. And you're who I'm talking to. And I hope that you feel me. And I hope you feel my energy, and I hope it resonates with you. So with that being said, my last video, man, I made a video talking about how... Um, pretty much just kind of updating you guys with how it is that I feel and what it is that I was going through mentally and um, kind of just how my, my bad, our windows are see-through so people can see in here, but, they, but I can't see them. So it kind of freaks me out. But um, yeah, the last video was just me kind of updating you guys on where it is that I'm at and how it is that I'm feeling, trying to give y'all someone to listen to and relate to because I understand that when I'm feeling something when I'm going through a hard time as much as I'm caught up in my own world I'm not the only person going through a hard time I'm not the only person that's experiencing something bad and to be honest with you my worst days are some people's best days and that keeps me going because the shit that I complain about the things that I'm struggling with some people wish they had those bad days you know what I'm saying? Whether that be for people from other countries, people who don't have homes, clothes on their back, food on their tables, whatever the case may be, bro, my life is good and I need to be thankful for it. But just like you guys, man, I have bad days. And I have bad weeks, I have bad months. Should I have even had bad years? You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, that last video, man, it was, um, it was how I was feeling. Today, I woke up with a new energy. Today, I woke up with a new understanding of myself and um, 
where I'm at in life. So I wanna share that with you guys. Now, like I said, whoever's watching this video, I'm speaking to you specifically. I'm looking you in your eye, I'm talking to you. And I hope that you can understand where it is that I'm coming from. And I hope that you take my words serious because I do. So for those individuals of you who are going through a hard time, um, for those individuals of you that are experiencing heartbreak, um, death, you know, the, the mourning of a loved one, a partner, um, for those of you that are experiencing trauma, still recognize your own trauma, dealing with trauma, for those of you that are dealing with car problems and ex, um, whatever it may be that you're going through, man, I'm speaking to you. And I want to tell you, and I want to assure you that this storm will pass. And although right now it might not seem like it will, I promise it, I promise you it will pass. Lately, I've been feeling like shit. Lately, mentally, physically, bro, I've been, haven't been feeling my best self. I'm not going to say that I'm not feeling necessarily myself because I believe that um, energy comes in waves. And right now, although this might not be an energy that I like, it's an energy that I need. And it's an energy that's with me right now. So I need to sit through it. And I need to appreciate whatever it is that I'm experiencing while it's, while it's happening. Understand that life doesn't happen to you. Life happens for you. Try to see the message in everything. Try to see the lesson in everything. Whatever is going on in your life right now, like I said, if you're experiencing death, if you're experiencing heartbreak, if someone just broke up with you, if someone just cheated on you, if you just got fired, whatever it is that is happening to you right now, I want you to understand, try to understand at least, the lesson of what it is that is happening. Rather than having this mindset of, oh my gosh, this is happening, how can this be happening to me? Why do good things happen? Why do bad things happen to good people? All these things that we always think, I want you guys to think about, what is this teaching me? Now, some of y'all might think this is a corny way to look at life. This idea of glass half full mentality, whatever it is that you wanna call it. But I'll tell you this, man, when you understand that life happens for you, not to you, your life will begin to change. When you start to see the lessons in everything, your life will begin to change. So the individual that I'm speaking to currently, which is you, I want you to think about that thing that's in the back of your head right now. Whatever pain, whatever trauma, whatever it is that is happening to you right now, try to think about what is this teaching me? How can I get better? How can I get stronger from this? It's not a matter of moving on from situations. It's not a matter of trying to push things down over and over and trying to be the strongest one in the room, trying to always be strong. When something is happening in your life, do your best to understand it. Like I said, I'm feeling this energy, this negative energy, or what I like to think is a negative energy right now, because I feel different than usual. Why does it have to be negative? Is it because I'm viewing it as negative or is it negative? Understand this. I always like to bring you guys quotes. I'm big on quotes. What you give power to has power over you if you allow it. I'm going to say that one more time for y'all with the short attention span and that are not paying attention. What you give power to has power over you if you allow it. Does that make sense to you? And I don't mean that in a rude way, but in all seriousness, does that make sense to you? Situations only have power over you. People only have power over you if you allow them to. So whatever it is that you are experiencing currently, whatever pain or trauma or death you are experiencing, it only has power over you if you allow it. That negative voice in your head only has power over you if you allow it. Bro, it's Friday night, what time is it? It's Friday night, it's 9.30 right now. I don't wanna be doing these stairs. 
And this is why I preach the gym on you. I don't want to be doing these stairs right now. I promise you, I would much rather be at home playing 2K. That's my shit, especially this week, bro. As stressed out as I am, as bad as I'm feeling internally, 2K is like my shit right now because it's the only thing that takes my mind away from shit. It gives me a sense of, I don't gotta worry about anything. I don't have to worry about trying hard. I don't have to worry about working out. I don't have to worry about doing these stairs. I don't have to worry about clients. I don't have to worry about work. I don't have to worry about my relationship. The only thing that I have to focus on is a fucking video game. So with that being said, what am I gonna do? Go home and play 2K right now? Take the easy way out? Or I'm gonna challenge myself. What it is that I'm experiencing right now in my life only has power over me if I allow it. As soon as I get off this Stairmaster, I close these doors and I go home. Now I've given power to this negative thing, this negative energy. But if I keep trying, if I don't give up on myself, if I recognize the situation for what it is, recognize the energy for what it is, and see it as just energy, see it as, you know, the devil, demons, the negative energy, whatever it is that you guys believe in, but if I see it as that, and I become stronger, then my life gets better, and it truly does. Every single day, you have the opportunity to get better. Every single day, we have the opportunity of choice. We have freedom of choice. You have the choice every fucking morning to get up and try. That's a blessing. Some people don't have that opportunity. Some people, their life has been taken from them. Tragically. I always talk about X. Look at X, bro. XXX Tentacion. His life was taken, to, taken from him for $50,000. I was just watching a video they're uh, trying to sentence the dudes that killed him as of recently. They split that money in like four or five ways. $50,000, bro. This person, my point of saying that is to say this. This person got the human experience taken away from them over some fucking money and a Louis Vuitton bag. Every single day that you wake up, man, you need to be thankful Whatever situation that you are in, regardless of how shitty you might think life is right now, you need to be blessed and you need to be thankful just to be here. We are all experiencing the universe and God in itself. I believe that God is within all of us. I believe that we are the universe experiencing itself. Perspective is reality. Therefore, I believe heaven and hell are a place on earth, if that makes sense to any of you. Heaven and hell are a place on earth. And the reason for that is going to be your perspective. I believe that depending on your perspective, if you view life as wake up every fucking morning, get on the phone, check social media, complain because you're broke, go to your nine to five that you fucking hate, work for another company that you don't respect or the people don't respect you, get off of work. You're not eating all day and you're starving. You get a 30 minute lunch, go home, uh, watch Netflix, eat some bullshit, eat some McDonald's, eat some, some chips, some comfort food, some ice cream. Look in the mirror to complain about how fat you are. That's hell, bro. To me, that is hell. That is why I believe heaven and hell are a place on earth. They both exist here. They, bo they both exist within us. It depends on your perspective. I believe that I've been to hell. I truly do. I've been in some situations in life, man, where I thought nobody should have to experience this. Nobody should have to see this. Nobody should have to lose a person close to them. Nobody should experience heartbreak. I believe that I've experienced hell. And I believe that I, you know, I see uh, the devil or demons every day. I see people who live their life through the devil, through demons, every fucking day of my life. So, understand that the situation that you are in, the individual, you, that I'm speaking to right now, your life can change. You are not stuck. I say this all the time. Your life can change. 
you are not stuck but it's up to you to make it happen it is up to you to make a difference hold on i'm gonna get some water and for those of y'all that are gonna say i'm going slow on the stairs you're damn right i'm going slow on the stairs but it's only so i can bring you guys this video so if you're talking shit because i'm going slow on the stairs man fuck you and your mom tell her i said so that's how i'm feeling right now all right let's get back to this so like I said, man, I'm speaking to you directly because I understand how challenging life can be. But the human experience in itself, you should be blessed. My phone's about to die. The human experience in itself, you should be blessed to have and blessed to experience as a whole. I understand that things can pile up on top of themselves. I understand that we're in a shitty society where we have to pay taxes and pay bills and do this and do that but it's the experience and i wouldn't trade that for for anything even the life that it is that i live is much pain and trauma and heartbreak and triumph that i have experienced in such a short amount of time bro i wouldn't trade that for the world because it makes me who i am these experiences nobody gets to say that they've had the experiences that i've had through these eyes the way that I've had them, the way that I've chosen to look at life, my perspective on life is completely different than anybody that I've ever met. And that's not a flex. That's not me bragging, but it's because my perspective, like I said, your perspective is reality. And it's up to you how you perceive life. Do you perceive life as shitty? Oh my gosh, I have to go to work. I have to do this. I have to do that. No, man, I get to. I get to go to work. I get to come here. I get to... Bro, 15-year-old me, let's not even go back that far. Go back to pre-COVID. Bro, I wish I had a gym like this. I wish I had a key to a gym where I can stay up all night doing cardio. Who the fuck am I to now complain that I got to do some stairs before I go home and go to bed? in my nice comfy home with a hoodie on my back. I'm about to walk outside while it's warm or while it's cold outside and me be warm. Bro, during COVID, I, all I wanted was to be able to hit the gym. When I was 15, I dreamt about having the life it is that I live now. Who am I to complain? So, I know I'm getting all over the place with this video, man, but I just like talking to you guys. And this is a way for me to vent too. So I hope you guys are appreciative of this because not everybody gets this from me. I'm very quiet and I say to myself, but going back to what I said at the beginning of the video, when you guys are experiencing pain and trauma and all these things, you need to see it as what is life teaching me? How can I get better in this situation? If there are things in your life that you were unhappy with, how can you change them? Focus on the things that you yourself can change. This is what I always tell you guys. Focus on what you can control. What can you control on your day-to-day -day basis? For some of us, it might differ. For me, it's gonna be my food intake, my water intake, my sleep, my workout regimen, my cardio, how I treat people. These are all the things that I get to control myself. I can't control someone else's expectations of me. I can't control someone else's decision making and how they treat me. But what I can control is who I interact with, who I give my energy to, all these kinds of things. So for that reason, I'm in control. These people do not have control over me. I am the one in control. What you give power to has power over you if you allow it. You need to write that down, to be honest with you. I'm out of breath. 
What you give power to has power over you if you allow it. I'm going to start trying to bring you guys quotes more often. Maybe I'll start a video with a quote and the quote will be the topic of the video. Because I love quotes, man. And I have a lot memorized. Kind of off topic, but the reason why I have so many quotes memorized, a lot of this, a lot of y'all don't know this about me. And I don't know that I've ever shared this. I, I'm sure I have. If you've been a real day one supporter of the channel and you've been paying attention, not just drowning me out or just turning on the video and letting me speak, but if you've actually been trying to understand me versus understand me if you know the difference understand me is you feel it in here to understand someone means you feel it is what that they they are saying the words that they are saying correlate to you and what it is that you're going through you're conscious enough to shit you are conscious enough to understand me if that makes sense to understand something means you are under, right? Think about it as a bar. This is where you and I are on the same wavelength. To understand. Understand is below that, meaning you do not understand me. You don't know what I'm talking about. To overstand means here's understand and here. Meaning you have already experienced this. You are to a point of higher under, understanding, if that makes sense to you guys. Now, back to what I was saying real quick. When it comes to uh, the quotes, the reason why I have so many quotes memorized is because, and I'll end it with here, because I got to, coming up on almost... 25 minutes here <laughs> the reason why i have so many quotes memorized bro is because i went to boot camp for the army now when i was in boot camp i knew i had seen all the videos i knew we were going to get our phones taken away from me i knew that um i wasn't going to be able to talk to my family to anybody at the time my friends i even was in a relationship at the time I wasn't gonna be able to speak to anybody. And for me, man, that was hard because I was, it took everything in me to, to go do that because I feel like so many people count on me. You know, I was at home with just me and my mom and I'm the, the man of the house. I'll, I'll share this with you guys too. One of the only reasons why I joined is because my big brother, um, I spoke to him and he pretty much told me like, I gotta take a chance on myself and I'm forever grateful for that because I didn't wanna go because the idea of my mom and my grandparents being alone, it just, it overwhelmed me and it gave me anxiety. But you know, my brother, he had told me that they've already lived their lives and I have to be willing to take a chance on me and live mine. So if you're watching that, watching this, I've never told you this, but I appreciate you for telling me that because I needed to hear it and I apply that every single day. Now, when it comes to the quotes, I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to have my phone. So I wrote, um, I kid you not, like probably over a hundred quotes in this notebook. And what I did was because they take everything, but they can't take religious shit. I'm not a religious person, like as far as um, like Christianity or Catholic, or anything like that and I have no trouble with it but I am more of a spiritually in tune person rather than like a Christian or a Catholic now when you go to boot camp they can't touch your stuff that has religious um, uh, religious stuff on it so like I had this notebook and I wrapped it in a rosary and they can't touch it because they thought it was like a Bible or like a uh, like a, I don't even know, like a, I don't, I don't even know, but they thought it had something to do with religion, so they didn't touch it. In this Bible, or not in this Bible, in this notebook, I had over a hundred quotes. Every single quote, I woke up every single day, and I lived my life by one of those quotes. 
one of those quotes was, what you give power to has power over you if you allow it. I had drill sergeant screaming in my face. We were sleeping in the rain, the snow, sleeping outside for weeks at a time. People, um, all kinds of crazy shit. I'll share some experiences with you guys one of these days on a story time, but it was chaotic, bro. But one thing I just remembered, what you give power to has power over you if you allow it. And tonight, man, I'm gonna end it with that because I want you guys to live your life with those words. And I want you guys to really apply that to your life because a lot of the situations are not more powerful than you, but you give these situations power. That is why they become so powerful. That is why they affect you to such a high capacity. That's why they stress you out. That's why they give you anxiety. That's why they give you depression. It's because you, you are in control. You are the most powerful. God is, is within you. And once you give power to the devil or demons or negative energy, now they are in control. So like I said, I'm going to leave it with that, man. If you guys made it all the way through this video, I truly appreciate you. I know this is a long video. I know I'm breathing messed up right now. I know that the, the setting sucks. I know the lighting sucks. I know I'm bouncing around a lot on my phone, but do not pay attention to the quality of the videos. Pay attention to the messenger and what he is speaking to you. So like I said, I appreciate you guys if you made it all the way through. Uh, if you're new here, please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys, man. Have a good night.